we are getting into something a little bit new here. Well, new for me. Got to make sure that I'm all up and running and stream is locked in. Because it looks like we're recording. And though I can see myself on my screen, just want to make sure that I'm able to hear myself, which is also part of the, uh, you know, good thing for a stream. At least I feel so. Oh, yeah. Well, with that being the case, I know that we are alive and locked in, so welcome in, everybody. This is the live stream Let's Play on the PS4. Game of Thrones. I mean, if you can tell it's PS4 with the little buttons right there, X and square, eh, you get the idea. But, well, first of all, some introductions, in case you're just not familiar with me in the very least. Checking in the upper left corner, you see the name there. Whether you're watching on Twitch, as it happens live, maybe you're watching on YouTube, episodically, it's your own leisure. You see the name up there, MJ Lakomiak, that being me. No gimmicks, no nothing like that, just... That's who I is. <laughs> and live stream Let's Play. Well, that's part of the gimmick is live streaming here on Twitch. When the stream is done, then I export it all onto my YouTube channel. So that way, if you miss anything, don't worry. It's all here. You can all uh, check in every last second of it. Just in case you come in late and you want to wonder what the hell happened. Uh, and by the way, on Twitch, on Twitter, and on YouTube, the same name you see up there, MJ Lakomiak. You can just copy and paste it. Find me on all three of those. That's on Twitch on Twitter, and on YouTube. So if you want to get a little bit of snippets and updates and find out when the streams are going on, that's the best way to do so. If you miss it live, like I said, I'll have the video exported to my YouTube channel later so you can watch it episodically at your own leisure. That's, of course, why I created that little hashtag, Livestream Let's Play, all one word, if you want to check that out. Now, Game of Thrones in general. Have not seen it, <laughs> okay? So I don't know if this is taking anything from the actual show, uh, I do not have Hulu, which I think uh, has the HBO side of things. It's a show that I definitely want to get into, because I'm kind of... The nerdy side of me likes the whole Dungeons and Dragons fantasy realm, you know, swords and ballistas and catapults and all that shit. Like, I, I figure I could dig this, really. Um, the Telltale Games series. So, I kind of know what I'm getting into with this. It's kind of like choose-your-own-adventure material. Uh, but also, it's the choices you make impact pretty much everything in the long run of things. You know, do you help this person fight, or do you run away and leave them to die? Shit like that's going to happen, I'm sure. But Telltale Games have done well in the past with things. Uh, everybody raves about the Walking Dead games, which I am familiar with. Uh, but not knowing anything about Game of Thrones. I don't know if this steals directly from... Uh, you know, the, the TV show itself, or if it's just some of the characters are there, and some of the references are there, but it's not totally tied in. Because uh, that's kind of how uh, The Walking Dead was. There may have been, you know, a character or two that you recognize by name or whatever, but uh, things get separated, so it's not directly tied into the TV show. That's, that's my best guess on how this is going to run. But, uh, not familiar enough with this, like, I don't know if there's wild sorcery and dragons and shit like that, or if it's just people in the deceit, you know, like Shakespearean shit. That, that's kind of my thought of what it is. But a lot of gore and tits and blood, which... can't say no to that. <laughs> but let's get fired up, see what we can do as we begin with episode one. I believe uh, all of our audio and video settings should be good to go. So, let's see what goes on from here. The Northerners will never forget. Tyrion Lannister, am I saying that right? Volume check. Oh yeah, begin episode one, I apologize. Woo! Let's see what we get. Now, if I have to reorient where my little face window is down here in this lower left corner to somewhere else, I will do that midstream if I have to. Just a quick timeout D, and I mean my arm only goes out that far, so... This game series adapts to the choices you make. Ooh! For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the, wolf, uh, of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of the House Forrester hangs in the balance. 
So that's natural. Somebody has a resource that everybody wants, and they're gonna fucking kill them for it. A very comic style uh, animation, which I do like. Here, here. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Mm. Press X to pick up. So we got a little cursor icon thingy here. A little, okay. I mean, I don't think I need to be in there. Oh, yeah, I do. I need to be scrolled over the little icon and then pick up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Press and hold X Go then on. drag. It's only blood. Okay, so now I'm activated, like, okay. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if I we're will. being honest, you'll see. You are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he lying? caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't have to do Aye. Mm -hmm. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. You do it. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Ah, fuck. No one will remember that. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> ha ha ha! Time to make fun on him now. Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. Thank you, sir. I guess. I mean, we're squire scrubs, like... Get you some fucking booze. The Rob Stark! The King in the North! The, the King, King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Death to the Lannister! The North remembers. Aye. The North remembers! Aye. Don't know what that really Aye. means, but sure. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this... Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. Ah. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something what do you mean? must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. Mm -hmm. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I want to fight. You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. 
Your hard work has paid Long off. overdue. Begging your pardon, my lord, but it's long overdue. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrett. Perhaps I misjudge your readiness for this honor. Oh, come on. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Come on. Now, how do I want to play this? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're, we're kind of lowly scrub. We're supposed to get built up anyway. If I say, you know, it's long overdue, they're not gonna- Nope, nope, nope. Keep cleaning- uh, keep cleaning blood off the swords and... Fucking keep pouring drinks. No, they're probably gonna progress us through the story, so I might be a little arrogant with this stuff. I might be a little, trust me, I know what the fuck I'm doing. It's a telltale game. It'll be fine. <laughs> Squire! Fetch his more wine! I'm no longer a squire. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Fine, but you owe me. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Oh, really? Son of a bitch. A lot of Fetch fucking wine. wine. Grab my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, be worse. and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. Hmm. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Shut but your mouth. Not by much. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Not me, I got promoted. Waste of fucking time. Not me. What? Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. Sir Garrett, the fucking uh, the truth. Unbelievable. Maybe if my uncle were castle in, I'd be getting promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? I'm sure it didn't hurt. Politics. How much further? I don't know. It's right over there. Oop, the twin stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Maybe I switch over to the right side of the screen so I'm not in the text way. We'll see. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not if any signs of willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Saw a lot of crossbows being loaded. A lot of swords standing by. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back You've now. You've too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Save Bowen. <coughs> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's they got the rush? We must warn the others. We need a fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? It's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. <laughs> and it starts. Oh ha! You're done. Oh yeah. The game gets a little loud, and then it gets really quiet. Fuck! We need to get back to camp! Told you. Oh, oh, oh nice. Gotta <laughs> use the analog sticks. I almost got bored. Shows up very subtly. Didn't quite nice. Yeah. 
Sharon. We have to get back. Sit here and help him. Oh, what mashing? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay. We're gonna have to get used to control on this. No! Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! What? Uh. Oh, horse shit. So the first death... Where do I start with my shield? <laughs> you have to use the right analog stick to find the icon and then hit the correct button as well that goes with it. Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Now, where is my mark? Oh, R2. Oof. So it's probably gonna be the R2 button a lot of the time. Oof. That had to hurt. End it. End it. Oh, one time. Um, crawl. Oh, you shit. Left analog stick. Crawl, crawl, crawl. I'm looking for things with my little. Oh, I might be dead. Oh. Button mashing like a motherfucker. Quick time events. Oh, they start you in this one pretty quick. Oh, get off me. It's button mashing time. Here we go. Hit me to a spot there, and you just can't win. Big words. Find a weapon quickly. With pleasure. Let's go get it. Right across the fucking ribs. You fucking traitor. Go, my lord. While there's still time. Look the way if you got to. Oh shit. Seven hells. You're wounded. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Okay. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, the says you have to go. I won't leave you. To the doors. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. I'm trying to do the right thing. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle I swear. Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Uncle Duncan. Hey, 
It's those foresters! Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> With love, uh. I'm afraid. I mean, that was about bad. Better run, kid. It's probably too big a sword than you can use. Take off like a thief in the night. Woo! That's some shit. And now the story begins. Well, I'm familiar with the Walking Dead games, uh, Telltale it is. And although they do start a little quick as this, this I think was a little more intense. Having never seen Game of Thrones, I wonder how similar this is to the show. Trust me, I want to get into watching it. But I'm so backlogged on shit to watch, games to play. Iron Wrath, as Mr. Place has said. The trees just sprout up like fucking weeds, yes. The North Grove must never be lost. People are fucking goo goo over this show. It's fucking crazy. Iron from ice. That was one of the dialogue options. I don't know if that makes any difference for anything, but. <laughs> Forester lands, the king's road. Should I switch my little face bubble around? Telltale Store by Andrew Grant and Ryan Kaufman? Hmm. I mean, if anything, like, behind my little face window here, it's gonna be, uh, small text options, which, and I was thinking. I was thinking, like, maybe in the upper left, upper right corner to put my face, I don't quite know. Um, it wouldn't generally be in the way, I don't think, of, of no text or any, uh, dialogue subtitles that fly across, but... Eh, we'll see if it gets to an annoying point, right? I think we're okay for now. I can just lean away if there's something behind me, like, we gotta see where we're at. I think I came from that way, so I can't go that way. Got my sword. Hey, Pigsy. Nothing, no. Oh, boy. Look at the blood. Blood. Yes. Still Fresh. warm? Fresh. Shit. That was my worry. Oh, it's from you. Now who would just kill a pig and leave it here? Starting a fire, got a smokehouse, what's going on? What's up with this cart? And there is construction going on outside out... There's construction going on outside of my place. So if you hear some noises, some, I don't know, some back hose, some little forklifts or whatever the hell. Hell, even the fucking yard crew is out doing weed whacker bullshit. That's father's car. Ooh. We specifically know that's father's cart. Not a good look. Ooh. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Oh boy. Winter may be coming. He still have his bacon. Are these bandits? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. And Draw a sword. Fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is Re that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Who? <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. You'll get nothing and like it. Fuck you. There you go. Fuck you. 
Oh shit. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Oh boy. Take it. Or the axe. They are a pig. <laughs> Gotta be quick. We better get that fucking pitchfork now, real quick. Boop. I don't know if that was good. Shoulder tackle. Get the sword. Oh, to the leg. Why would he go to the leg? Button mash. Living ain't easy. Oh boy. No, nope, try killing me. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. Kill him. No, please. <laughs> he tried oh, killing me. I see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> oh, he'll see me hang for this. Motherfucker, you tried. You overtook my land. Beat the fuck. Damn near killed my father. If not, he's already dead. Father? I kill your soldier and I'll hang. <laughs> Go oh, fuck your mother. Garrett, you survived. Somehow. Took an arrow to the face, though, but I had your to reload. Sister. Oh, boy. She hid. I tried to stop them. Ooh. And just that quick, gone. Boy, this game gets you in pretty deep pretty quick, doesn't it? I'll kill the men who did this. Well, we killed two of them. Get that axe out of the guy's head. Ironrath, stronghold of House Forester. I like the animation style here. This is a pretty good look for this game. Wait, we got stabbed like what? What was that, in the leg? Well, in the leg, but what? Thigh or calf? Get the castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Sweet! <sighs> Carrot! Exhaustion! I was too No, late. my name's Link. You were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Well, they look happy. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. Michael. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Oh, cool. Thanks Thank for the you, tweets Mister. and the likes. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done I'll anything. I'll do it again. You. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. Right. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Hold the wound open. Um... Press X and then drag open like so! Sprinkle in some maggots to eat the dead flesh. These That'll are dark hurt. days, I Great. fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. Yeah. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. 
A serious man, but he Our would have made a good lord. Will never fall. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was huh. as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's That's unfortunate not what the happened. Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, then I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Good as new. Go on. Minus the maggots. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, well, looks like the uh, the throne up there. Medical supplies. The Lord's chair. Look at that thing, huh? It's got the same tree mark as the sword does. Ooh. Oh, you fancy, huh? Look at the window. Nice day outside. The Ironwood Grove. I mean, good shooting as far as this game. You know, like, if it were being filmed. Looks like he has a slight limp, nothing too major. Oh, uh, then what else, like, medical supplies we could look at? And kind of want to scour all the area, if I can. Well, let's get close to the fire and have fucking s'mores, yo. That'd be great. Well, I suppose that's it. Look at the supplies. The bucket, look at it. Oh, yeah. A bucket full of maggots. Wow. Touch it! Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. Yes. No, they're not. Back out. Oh yeah, the picture. I did want to look at that, actually. Another close-up, hmm. if we can. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm... I'm fine, I won't lose a leg. So there's Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. Talia and Ethan? Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Talia. He's got that European fucking he'll put an R at the end of an A word. You'll hear that a lot out of New Yorkers. They'll go to the arena. Yeah. Uh, Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. A little Ryan? Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. <laughs> Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester. Mm. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. And... Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Learn more about the foresters on the menu codex page. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Oh, I can. Uh, well, we can start talking, too. Let's, let's look at him first. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. What? Well, fuck it then. Show him the sword. I don't no. know what good that's going to You see there? Do. You're limping again. I'm fine. Really? <laughs> Talk to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um. 
Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someones, and then, well, here we are. Hatfields and McCoys. Gotcha. Um, the White Hills want our Ironwood? That's, we kind of know that. Um, who is the new lord? Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. Hmm. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Uh, the White Hills want our ironwood? The White Hills want Forrester ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Hmm. What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Yeah, if there's no witnesses to that. Can I see Ethan? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Never mind. Never mind. Or I probably have to ask him, can I leave now? Let me guess. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yeah. I'm so sorry. Nato. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, he fought I'm valiantly. sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Hmm. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yeah. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Um, I kept the promise Any to Any last him. words before he passed? If Give you can the remember. Sword. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you. Avoided her question. Yeah. Oops. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. I like this guy. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. This happened on Forrester land. They, they attacked, attacked me. me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. 
Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves, he deserves to, to die. Be. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen Ooh. to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. Mm. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Fuck the Boltons. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see bring them that try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. Let them come. The boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only yeah. one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll go. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Whatever. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Bravery. Really? That was brave? I mean, that was thoughtful that to the something. house. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. Yeah. His own great I uncle was, was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well-deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? The North Grove must not be lost. What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. He said to it's only tell you. Discussed, if ever. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. Uh -huh. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. We could have asked about you it. you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Have not. This is important, Gavit. I've told no one. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Okay. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Nope. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <sighs> Get yourself some bow and arrow play done, huh? Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I'll be strong. 
I know you will. Honor, eh, all that other stuff. Make you proud, I don't know that for a fact. A long gallop out. Garrett, wait! Oh. Text me. Oh. Oh, um, okay. Is that the house forester? Be safe. Mark? Nice shot. That was good. Got the sunset going, he's walking through that tunnel. Not bad so far, game. Not bad so far. Ethan? Do they live in a tree? That's awesome. Ethan, Ethan Forrester, Lord of the House Forrester. So this kid is now the fucking head? Could find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten I win. this is a game. He's a kid. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Bet not. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. Mm. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I perfectly promise Perfectly safe. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. I don't know what he did to get sent away like smart. that. Smart. Let's go with smart. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And um, he calls you a milksop. Nice. Sir Royland forgets himself. He underestimates After all, me. You are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. Hold on. Now, as Garrod, uh, I think a lot of my dialogue choices and that got to be a little bit arrogant. Got to be confident. Ugh. Boy, look at how yellow I look with the bad lighting. Terrible. Terrible. Um, but as the kid here, what the hell, Byron, what the hell is it? I don't even know his name. But as him, I don't want to give all the childish answers. I should have said from hiding behind the tree, should have said, like, I'm over here instead of I win. I know he's like a kid, what is he, probably 15? He doesn't look that old. Um, and he's like the head of the fucking house now. But with him, I'd rather have smarter dialogue decisions and, and things like that said because he's supposed to be made out to be a punk he shouldn't be like he doesn't know the position he's in so with Garrod I'd rather let him be the sort of badass he's probably gonna be doing most of the battle and with the kid here who's now at the head of everything um with him I'd rather have the the smart things be said so don't know how that's gonna play everything out but we'll see what's what back to the game what does milk salt mean I don't know, but I know it's not good. Right. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like, like a man. a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher... We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, 
and everything changed. Things were so fun, and then we Roderick became became so serious. <laughs> the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. But I may have to change. To be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. I mean, that's an honest answer. I may have to. I'm not saying I will. I'm not saying Since I won't. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. Well, I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Oh, God. Funny it with that simple. Don't be a nice fool. Oh, that's not I how it works. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Lord Ethan. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Oh boy. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Uh. I will lead. I would command Ethan to stay. I, I guess I should family. go with him. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Roiland will remember that. I mean, it is important. Should I remind you who the Lord is? I don't want to be a brat about it, you know? And yeah, it's a, it's a Wu Wednesday, so I got my Wu Tang shirt on. Damn right. All 36 chambers. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Gotcha. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough I as it is. I can handle this. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, Lord I mean, this guy, he's abrasive, but I like him. He's, he's... Scarface over here. I like him. He's a mean son of a bitch, but he wants fucking... He wants the best. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Shake, the late I Lord suppose. Forrester was no friend to me or my house. But to his family, it's still a loss. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. But no shake. <laughs> My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been oh. waiting for this day all my life. Don't test me. The foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Dot, Lordy dot, dot. Foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to going. have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Wow. Lord Ethan. That's you're enough. losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, 
things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Hmm. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Lies. Yeah, attacked for no reason. You murdered his family. No reason. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He did right. <laughs> he acted in your name. He did as any man would. And you are the Lord your men, right? of this yeah, yeah. house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? Haven't seen him. We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I, I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Again. Considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! Hold on. Actually, Ethan did not see Garrod. That is true. Ethan did not see Garrod. That is true. <laughs> so, to be fair, I'm still telling the truth. It's over when my son says it is. It's over. Nope, dot, dot, dot. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is Don't Lord say a here. word. Just let him stew. If that stew. displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. And that little fucking ass licker. Oh, it'll be fun to kill him. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. No, I like it. It was Scarface who said that I knew how to handle my own. I want that guy as my fucking number two. You know what I mean? My right hand man. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. These are fun little games, just the choices you make, dialogue bits like that, the back and forth. Now I'm her. So this is the third character already that I get to play. Let's see what's in the box! All kinds of stuff. What is this? High garden brooch? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. What about a carved ironwood tree? Ethan made this for me. What is that? Yunkish coin? Sure. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Unfinished letter. Let's read it first. Father, 
Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Visit us? <laughs> Probably not the best note in the world to read. Well, what else do we got here? A book of sorts. Dusty old tomb. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Hmm. I hope to see them all someday. Yeah, let's look out. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. If it's sunny at... Dude, ask the fucking Flat Earth Society. They'll tell you all the weather. They know what's up. Even way over there. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. What, somebody come a knocking? Would you stop? One moment. Oh. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Who are you? Send him away. Later would be best. Of course. Wow, slam the door in his face, why don't you? I don't know who that was. Was that like the, the, the housemaid guy? Like, who was that? He didn't look... well hygiened. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. Who was that little kid? I didn't let him in because he looked dirty. Like, you know, he looked like a beggar almost. I don't know if he's supposed to be cleaning the room or whatever the hell, but I guess, you know, we're royalty, nose in the air kind of shit. I didn't want to have a fucking, what do they call the him, like a desert rat, Highgarden, like Aladdin in the I room. I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. Um, and your poor family as well. My, my family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. What? She was very pleased with herself. Why would she do that? Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable. Knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For mm. what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. <sighs> I, I have nothing to apologize for. Any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not. But you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Hmm. Look at the size of these fucking doors. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Now how do I act as her? What are my responses supposed to be like? Good luck. 
Good luck. Doesn't sound good already. Super. But the choices you make, it's one of those games. You can do this. <laughs> you can do it. I like how her hair is kind of like twisted up. Looks like a looks like a flower bun. Very elegant. Can I walk a little faster? I mean, I know I started behind her, but ah, well, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Hey. Bow. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester dress. is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Yup. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. Our loyalty here, never wavers. He? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They are not traitors. They are noble, not traitors, Your Grace. Oh, you northern girls tire me. Always quick to make your opinion known, with no thought or consideration for your proper place. Lady Mira is northern, your grace, and new to King's Landing and its... politics. She speaks her mind, but means no offense, your grace. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He also served the Starks. Roose Bolton also served the Starks. Your grace. Uh oh. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And mm. at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what... There are limits. There are limits. Your Grace. Perhaps. But not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Like, he's reasonable. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. What? Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She only I won't judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. She's Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. 
My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? King? Or sworn to my I am sworn. Huh. Lady. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priority straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. She's headstrong, isn't she? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. So I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Uh, okay, now Redhead here with me told me, just tell her what she wants to hear. But I'd rather be straightforward and be like, nah, nah, I just don't like you or your ways or your views, and I think they're wrong. I'd rather you know, let that be known straight up. Because otherwise, like, if we tell her what we want to, you know, what she wants to hear, I don't know, do we have a chance to go back and fucking backstab her in the long run? Why not just have her pissed off at us from minute one, so we don't have to worry about it? It's like, we know. That's it. Button heads. What's up? I'll walk you out. Let me kind this of This may you. come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These the Boltons have no honor. For your family, even under the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. So we agree. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining, but it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this you. regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? We'll see, you know. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, okay. Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Thanks for the advice. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Hmm. He was actually in... Hulk Hogan's shitty movie, No Holds Barred. Briefly, during the bar fight, <laughs> he was in there. For all you, you know, old school wrestling fans like myself. Never saw that movie, but... Mira, I saw, like, a worried. clip of it. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Not so great. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult, but at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Oh boy. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? 
it's true. And over in Martel, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which Put I doubt back. is Dornish for You'll wife. get us in trouble. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does Fair have question. a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady For my family? Well, How about that? Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Wow. Right. Of course. Not well, for the riches. I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. This chick's a gold digger. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... We're just having fun. We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'll bet. I'm just glad it's over. For now. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? They'll have no choice? It's hard to please. People are not always so easy to please. Right. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Mm. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Yes. Ask for help. May as well. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust oh. her. I don't. I prefer to speak alone. I prefer to speak with you alone. I said that chick's a gold digger. Something about her. I don't like her. What, Sarah, what was her name? Sarah will remember that. Go on. Uh, my mother needs Ask. our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but... My mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Ooh. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey yeah. will not look favorably on such a request. I hope you understand. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. 
Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Not even carrier pigeons. We have ravens. That's how badass we are. So we're taking this game from three sides of the family. King's Road, Wolf's Wood. Why aren't we riding the horse? That's torture. <laughs> oh, great. Why weren't you on the horse, you dumb fuck? God Seven damn it. Hells. Seven hells? Pfft. Being modest. Oh boy. Are they branding him? Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh boy. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody oh, noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. How much further back when the screen goes red? These foresters. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? There's a on a twig. Yes. There. Oh boy. Hear that? I know I heard something. Still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Running's not a bad idea. But they didn't know I was there. Best to stay fucking put, yo. You know what about this guy? They were like carving him up and like ripping out his entrails. This might be gory. Maybe he could use maggots. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. This guy's gonna start screaming and shit. So I take it that's their little symbol that they put up when the when they've done their damage, their calling card, if you will. Okay. Thought he was gonna like ah, start screaming again. So they like literally took his fucking skin right off his chest. That's fun. And wear it as a funny hat. Lord Ethan! What? As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. I get that. But. Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. What will they call me? And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These Ethan were your father's Vionga. people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Okay. I like Scarface. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. 
Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Oh boy. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Scarface might show his evil side right now. Lord Ethan. Who is this man? Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Why Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Don't be a coward. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy, go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we will survive. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. True, we do need to set an example. Send him to the wall. I like Scarface, but he's oof. Show him mercy or kill him, pretty much. Give us justice. Is there a timer? I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Take his fingers. If you wow. punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You're not innocent. You'll be an injustice, my lord. You are not innocent. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I don't know what the me. wall is, but... Take three fingers. I don't know what the wall is. I mean, is that where you go to get killed? Show him mercy, take three fingers, send him to the wall. I don't know what the wall is. Is that, uh, like, for the firing range? Um... Taking three fingers because he's a thief. Um, I mean, he's still alive, and I don't know what happens at the wall. Um, I get his plea. Three fingers. Let's go three fingers. Just as a sign. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. Kill him. The price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! You'll be alive. My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. Oh, really? But I am willing to carry it out. Well, then I guess I'll do it. Feel good. I will carry out the sentence. If I have to. Which ones don't you want, kid? Justice, my lord! You were a thief! You stole! You said you stole! <laughs> Brutal! Well, sending him to the wall, I don't know if that's like a death sentence. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Well, yeah, he was stealing and he wanted to fucking course. desert us. Was I right? You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Right. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who would you choose? Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want He's the soft. job. He's soft. But 
Neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay. Now here's my thought. I do like Scarface. I'm leaning towards him already. Because he's no fucking nonsense. He doesn't seem like a badass. Like a, or a betrayer, excuse me. And the bearded guy does seem a little weak and meek and... Well... Enter the tower. Wasn't this the guy that helped the bandages? Ortengrin, I think is that how you say it? Hmm. Oh no, he's the other guy, I'm sorry. This is the guy that, that's up for it, I think. Food, look at the food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. Yeah. I made the count again. Just How to long can sure. we last? Oh, why are people starving? It actually? doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. Um, In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. I'll get back We've to you. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our something else. to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. Right. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Now, the only reason that I say no is because if we go to rough up the small farms around town, we're no better than the guys that killed Must Garrett's fight. family. So... Look at him. I don't know. Like, he seems a reasonable Joe, but we should rule with an iron fist. <laughs> you know, we should really... Let's, uh, Malcolm. Which guy is he? Let me talk to this fella, hmm? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? You should. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Where are you going? Wait, why are you life. packing? No, where are you going? Well, where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Hmm. She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, and I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will halt, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just okay. try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I know what to say. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine Royland? choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Why? Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not okay. with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Fine. That's Lord Ethan. <laughs> Oh, 
Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. Mm. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? Shit's different, like... I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to he think? He left me no choice. I stand. I, I stand. did what I had to, and I stand by it. You talk like it was the only thing to be done. No. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to... What? Ethan, please. What would you do? Me. How about that? What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. And I was. You were the lord of this house. And I was. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. Well, I was decisive, well. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. <clears throat> but I mean, the guy did steal, okay? That's no bullshit. The guy did steal and was going to flee. Like, he wanted to arm himself and take the fuck off. Like... No, that's- th that's stealing! And okay, the wall, I guess, is a place, not so much a death sentence. Maybe I'm... not right about that, but... Let's go talk to Maester... Ortengrin? I think I'm saying that correctly. You're all worthless and weak. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Okay, so that's the talk with him. Can I run? On what's up in the tower? Can I go there? I mean, I shouldn't at this point, but... <clears throat> What, uh, is over this way? Hey, what's up, Ryan? Like Talk to him, why not? Get some Careful. interaction going. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. Huh. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... Where's Asher's name? Oh. You know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... Oh boy. Sneeze. <gasps> yeah! <coughs> Someday, I'll have a real one. <clears throat> but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. Oh, excuse me. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Yeah, oh, that thief? Was he... our enemy? A bad man? I must Everyone enforce keeps rules. keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. Well, I you're getting a little heavy sword. with it. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. There you go. Become a little warrior. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? A portcullis. Am I saying that correctly? Oh, what did I miss here? A text from my brother. Do, 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 do. This is our guy right here, Royland. Sword, sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I did no dodge an old sword. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice.
I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be... Your proud. words are wise. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? I think I just did. Tonight, <laughs> at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Yeah, this guy, like, we need this hard-edged motherfucker right now. In these times? <clears throat> oh, there's Malcolm. Okay, I get where we're at. Sorry, Dunk. Come on, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. Um, I guess let's talk to him. My I Lord, guess I've made my are choice. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I yes, am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Thank you, sir. Time for the small council! What's my brother talking about? Unless he's, uh... I don't know. This will happen periodically where I just, you know... Fuck around on my phone during a stream. During a recording. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Well, that too is odd. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You are both worthy. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be that. on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Roiland. Here's where dissension comes in. Give him the bracer. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. How is it a poor choice? Now, You're too soft. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. He doesn't scare me. We can handle Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's probably suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the sentinel. Ho, ho, ho. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This Let is Duncan the small speak. council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like Give to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. Very well. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Right. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything what do you within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. No, we're not gonna give him shit. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. 
It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will fight, we will bargain, we will use diplomacy. Oh boy. We will fight, we will bargain, we will use diplomacy. Now, they're trying to rule over us with an iron fist and get the fucking resources. Fight, bargain, or use diplomacy. We should just fight them. Because, I mean, to bargain with them... Well, we're still giving up something that they already want. What do we get in return? We get protection from them? I hardly think we're going to get good protection from them if we're giving them shit that they already want. To use diplomacy, what, we're going to, like, join forces with them in full? I say we fight. That's just my thought. Because... They're going to want us killed anyway. And they're going to want the resources anyway. So... Shit. I say fight. Let's make this interesting real quick. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord and kill him. I will invite Ramsay into the hall, I will make Ramsay wait at the wait at the gates. Fuck that guy. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have faithfully served this family for many years. I... I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect you. Just remember that. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm no told me. <laughs> you want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Send for him. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help the we can get. Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such oh, things. Okay. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Send for him. You have many fine qualities. But 
You do not have that anger inside you. Smarter than that. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send him. If we can bring back Asher... Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Because if he's that good of a fighter and he can get here Thank in time, you, that's what I'm worried about. I'm glad you will let me do this. Time. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. The choices you make in these games. And this is different that they're throwing like three different characters at us. We're all from the same house. But uh, the three characters I've been... Lady Madry's Chambers, Red Keep, King's Landing. Strange key, family seal, examine the key. What does this go to, huh? Well, examine it, fine, pick it up. Fucking take that shit. What about this other thing? That's their little stamp of approval that they put on everything. Nobody's looking. Fucking take the seal. Marjorie? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Hmm. Wait, she's the redhead, right? Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years. It was private. And yet to be treated like that. It's a private matter. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... You look lady, sad. I'll leave you to talk. Is everything all right? Hmm. Are you all right, my lady? The fuck you think? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Shit. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. What can I he do? He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Shit. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Didn't you send one the other day? What the fuck? Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. How long have you been there? I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. And what do you want? 
rat boy. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're oh. willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful How for you. How can you? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I really must Wait, go. no, no, no. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Wow, he's good. Well, fuck, let's go talk to him. It wasn't a matter of trust, it's just, what can he do? Yeah, sneaky little shit to get up here. And why does he want to help her? Maybe he wants a little bit of that... squeezy squeezy, huh? Where that bloody hell is Duncan? Now fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are we ready to prevail. act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! About that time. Shall we dance? Something wrong with your gate? Actually, yes. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. Nope. This is Why are you cold? <laughs> timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Is that all you're after? Thank you, my lord. I didn't say open the gate. Drop it on him. Fuck's sakes. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about no it. No one. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could. Learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Yeah, we have like eight guys in a butcher. And he threatened to burn it all, this son of a bitch. When does the action start here? We gotta get something going. I want that fat fuck and this little bitch to die. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you.
force him to focus on the business at hand. What do you want? What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Attack him. Words are wind. I Anyone refuse. can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Well, then why bitch the about crown, it? however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little... Oh, wait, no, wait, I don't want to upset you. You can't Lord. trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. I should have went It was seen. a forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One You're Hulk. mistaken. Whitehill has lied to Yet you. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them... White Hills will ruin now. the forests. It can't be that difficult. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? Aha. Uh -huh. The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. That will cause more sure trouble, not no less. Trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look Attack. at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? My lord. Ah, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave her alone. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. Grab her. We'd get along well. I suppose you can stay. 
Aren't you the bold lord? Aren't you bold? Oh, oh, oh boy. No! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a bold no! lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Wow. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! Oh, no! I knew you'd bend in the event. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan. Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Wow, I thought we were going to attack these motherfuckers. Lovely meeting all of you. We, 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 let, again sometime. we let their Somebody army walk him. right into the fucking throne. Quickly. You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! You will not take Stop. him! No, please! Ryan, please! No! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? My son. Yeah, he got stabbed, like, in the fucking throat. There's no coming back from that. Where was my sentinel this whole time? Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Tune in to see what shenanigans take place and whose throats get slit. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. That wasn't sacrifice, that was murder. He saved life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house leads a leader. Lord Ethan named me sentinel. I will lead this house. My what sister about? asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? She's gonna kill the queen. So we started with three characters. Um, we're down to two. Okay, so uh, as we finish up episode one here, you and 65-66% of people stayed with Bowen. You and... Uh, oh, I'm in the, uh, the minority here. Swore to Lady Marjorie. Wow. 16% of people took Eric's fingers. Uh, 30 people, 31%, picked Royland as the Sentinel. Really? You and about half, just under half, met him at the gate. So I'm pretty much in the minority for all of my fucking decisions, other than staying with Bowen early in the game. Um, yeah, so I'm playing a little differently than everybody else, pretty much. <laughs> but okay, taking Eric's fingers means nothing now, because... Ethan is dead. Taking Royland as the Sentinel, well, that progresses forward. Meeting him at the gate does nothing, because Ethan is dead. Swearing to, uh, to Marjorie? Mm, we'll see how that plays out, even though everybody else probably went with appeasing that one bitch. So there you go. Yeah, at the end of every episode, there's kind of a, a look back at certain things you did as comparison to everybody else who's played the game. So there's that. But, boy, this game just jumps right into it pretty quick. I gotta say. They do not fuck around. I like the animation style of this. Um, Telltale games do pretty well with this. It, it, it's just... There's quick time events, there's maybe some mild button mashing, and it's all dialogue and, and decisions that you make uh, tell the story itself. These are very story-heavy fucking games. Um... If you don't like the comic style of the uh, the animation, like, okay, maybe that's not for you. Maybe you don't like the show. Maybe you don't like this whole fantasy realm, this kind of, you know, betrayal and bullshit that goes on, the politicking within uh, royalty. Maybe that's not your kind of thing. But I, already one episode in, I like this game. I do indeed. And I guess this is where... Uh, I kind of get a shutdown for everything, just an episode at a time to kind of get things going, slowly but surely. But, a good start. I mean, there was a battle right away. One of the characters, Ethan, one of our playable characters, which is also new. I have played the Walking Dead, uh, Telltale games. 
and I got to say that with that you're pretty much one maybe two people depending on the scenario of it all but in this three people right away like it didn't really fuck around so this was this was kind of a different jump a different angle of things that uh, from what I had seen and whereas that you're dealing with like you know the walkers the living dead the zombies whatever you want to call them and here you're dealing all with people haven't seen uh, anything where where it's like sorcery wizardry dragons and all that shit it looks pretty much just like human fucking interaction with everything so uh yeah 2014 this was uh i believe i had this downloaded on my xbox 360 but since i can't stream onto that i have to stream straight through the ps4 no fancy supercomputer no you know big time banners and flashy shit on my twitch page no thank you for maximizing my experience don't need all that stuff updates updates don't need that right now. Season finale is now available. Well, uh, I guess yeah. With uh, with episode one taken care of, what was that? Iron from ice or iron and ice? I forgot what it was called. Whew, excuse me. But taken care of in the first episode. Well, Ethan ends up getting fucking wiped out. Now how? They brought two people into the throne room. We didn't attack them the whole way through. I thought we were going to have our army just attack them right there as, as they enter the gate. We let them, let the two guys walk right in, go to the throne room. Minutes later, they get like a, a siege of fucking guys, like ten people come in, swords drawn. We're completely fucked. Like, where are the townspeople? Where are the fighters that were supposed to help us do this? Did they get wiped out? Because we didn't hear a fucking peep in all this bullshit discussion from that that fucking little ass licker, or whatever his name was. There are some crooked motherfuckers in this game. And now the one little brother got captured, taken away, and he's gonna be used as like basically life collateral. If we do anything to the... to the people here like invading our little... city area, like the, they'll have the, the son killed. So they killed Ethan, and the other little brother was taken away. So, shit. We're waiting on Asher, but this might be Asher, that's my guess. We're waiting on Asher to, like, come back. He was supposed to help. Apparently that didn't happen quick enough. Like I said, timing was going to be a bit of the, the problem here with all this. We couldn't get the help uh, from the red-headed chick. She couldn't get any assistance for us. The dude got sent away to go get Asher. Asher wasn't back in time. Um, was that Malcolm was the one who went to go get him? It's, uh... Well, we got a lot going on right now. A lot of shit being stirred up at the moment. But, as we go to close out episode one of, the ga of Game of Thrones here on the PS4, a free download right now for a PlayStation Plus member subscriber. Uh, get the entire, what is it, the, uh, the season pass. You can get it all taken care of. So, a free download there, which is also a good thing to have. I highly recommend it if you're a avid gamer like myself but as we go to wrap up the live stream let's play remember in the upper left corner mj lakomiak if you're watching on twitch if you're lurking about thanks so much for checking things uh, or if you're watching episodically on youtube at your own leisure thanks so much for that as well chipping in chiming in however you do um and if there's anything else you figure you want me to do more to help along the stream the recording Anything you want me to do? Should I talk more? Should I talk less? Is the volume okay? Well, I kind of checked that myself, but how can I make this better for you? Leave some comments and I'll see what I can get done, taken care of with and all that stuff. Try to get things better for you, because I can just play the game, not say a word. I can unplug the fucking headset. No big deal. Get my face away from all this so you just see the game itself. Well, I'd rather not do that, because if I'm live stream Let's Playing, see me, my reactions, see what I'm saying, See my reactions with stuff. I know I said that already. I'm stretching here. <laughs> you know what I need to do is uh, get done with the workout and maybe like fuel up the body here. Get some food in the system. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, on Twitch, on Twitter, and on YouTube, just to give you the quick recap of all that here. Closing out episode one. Uh, remember, MJ Lakomiak, just copy and paste the name you see up there. Uh, starting on Twitter. Follow me there, and you can see, like, when I send out the tweet as far as what game we're going to be playing and what time we hit that record button. I put a link to the Twitch channel in that tweet. So from there, click in, come on over to Twitch. If you missed anything, doesn't matter if we're in 
you know, this is what, six episodes they're saying? If I'm in episode four and you come in to check this out, oh shit, I don't want to see all of this game, but kind of want to see what's going on. Well, how I've played it, you can see the entire thing on my YouTube channel because when the stream is done, I export that thing over. And it's the same name, like I said, on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. You can find me as MJ Lakomiak, the same name you see up there. Copy and paste it, find it all, and you'll get things just in that order. The tweet, the live stream, the let's play. So there you go. Uh, it's a good way for you to, to check out everything in full in case you miss it. Or if you're here live as it happens, well, right on. Maybe you want to go back and watch something about it, like... You're gonna go play the game. Well, what did I do? Maybe you want to take a different uh, option of dialogue here. Just to see it for yourself, as opposed to what I do. Uh, maybe Ethan lives in your episode one. I don't know. I know nothing about this game. I don't know anything about the series. I mean, a couple of the actors, sure, like, I recognize the faces of people, but... Um, beyond that, I don't know the storylines, the houses, none of that stuff. Oh, excuse me. Oh, A little bit of a stretch there, too. But... Yeah, as we go to close out, the next time we play the live stream Let's Play of Game of Thrones here on the PS4, well, it'll be episode two. Ethan is dead. Uh, we need to find out what happens there with the little brother that was taken away. A, there's a lot of shit that needs to unravel right now. So, uh, we'll be looking for that. And that, of course, will be taking place next time. So, as we go to close out, hey, MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's going to take place. I don't know exactly what game we'll be playing when that does happen. All I do know is that I will indeed get your ass down the road.